One of the really stingy muscles that people have a hard time getting open is their quadratus lumborum. And what this guy does is it attaches to the lower spine and then to the hip, okay? And when this gets tight, we get something like a height hip or you're just gonna have a lot of tenderness and stiffness back there. So what we can do is we're gonna use the sew right for this and we're actually not gonna use it in the traditional way with the peaks up. What we're gonna do is turn the peaks on its side and we're gonna lay down on the ground and we wanna get the edge of the sew right in between our hip and in between our rib cage. Okay, get in there nice and gently because sometimes it can be pretty tight, pretty tender. And then what we wanna do is we're just gonna rock back and forth on it. You can put your hand back like this right here and we're rocking back and forth. We're hitting a little bit of the oblique as well. But remember guys, we're working on the fascia of this muscle tissue. You're really not gonna be able to get enough deep pressure down in there to hit the actual muscle. But what we're doing is we're stimulating that fascia to open up and create space. So we're rocking back and forth. We're rocking back and forth. You wanna do it for maybe two, three minutes, something like that. And when you get done with this, we can stand up and do something like a doorway stretch. So what we wanna do is we can go over to something like a rack over here. And you are, if it's my right side, we're gonna grab with the left hand, be something like a doorway or the rack. You're gonna put your left foot over your right and then I'm going to swing my arm up and around, extending that entire area right here. And what I can do is actually walk my hands down a rack, the rig, or if it's a door frame or something like that. And you see how I keep pushing my hip out and what I'm trying to do, we always wanna pressurize first. Pressure is going to create space in the tissue and then we're going to do a stretch. So we're gonna lengthen it even more and hopefully restore it to how it used to be. So all we're looking to do is just create more space between that rib and then our pelvis and that's gonna make you feel really nice. It's gonna open that area up and decrease a lot of the pain or irritation that you're having. What we're gonna do here now with the adductor is uh, when we're looking at the body, our quadratus lumborum is gonna help bring the leg out this way, okay? It's gonna stabilize the hip too. With the adductor, the adductor is bringing the leg inside. So when we're tight here, we're probably gonna be tight here. So what you wanna do is get a yoga block or we have the preacher pad only available to us right now. And you are going to lift your leg up Okay, and then we are going to get the sew right into that adductor and we can start off right in the groin and then just work our leg on down, getting some pressure, getting that peak, okay, into the hamstring a little bit, into the adductor a lot of bit and that's gonna really help open that area up for you uh, in conjunction with doing the quadratus lumborum stuff. A lot of people when they're starting off using the sew right, it's going to be a little bit too tender and too advanced for them to lay down right on it. So here's a really easy progression that we can do. You're gonna start off, feet on the floor. What I want you to do is really just open up the lower abdominal region, the fascia of the lower abdominal region. With the peaks, you can work both sides, okay? Probably for about a minute, minute and a half. After you've done that, now we can kneel and go up against the wall with the sew right, right here. And we can move it in all different positions, get it into different areas of the abdomen. Very, very safe pressing in here. Go gently. You just don't want to, you know, not paying attention and thrust as hard as you can into the peak. But if you're doing it nice and gently, you're gonna be able to open up that tissue, open up that fascia where it's getting tight. After that, what we can do is stand up, okay? Now we can get it into a little bit different of an orientation, all right? Why? Because our fascia orients itself differently when we are in different positions, okay? So my fascia, when I'm laying on my back, really isn't stabilizing anything at all in this area. So I can get some pretty decently deep pressure and then when I'm kneeling, my fascia is gonna have to support less weight than when I'm standing. So more fascia is gonna be turned on and a little bit more stiff when I'm standing, okay, than when I'm kneeling. One of the other great things that we can do too, this is kind of like the in-betweeny. We're gonna kneel. You can use it both peaks at a time right here. Use the elbows for support. Or if you wanted to, we can use one peak at a time once again 
And that's really your progression right there. You can start off on your back, digging in, kneel, stand, or in between both of those, you can come over here and obviously use a little bit of support with the elbows so it feels a little bit safer for you. But that's a really great novice kind of program that you can start off using today. If you want to follow me, uh, I'm at Rebuilt, R-I-B-Y-L-T.